All right, today we are doing an unboxing and first look at the Nevesky chainsaw. Don't make fun of my mug, it's my mom's. So I apologize, I'm a little under the weather. Uh, I've got COVID and the flu, but I wanted to give you guys a quick unboxing and a first look at the Nevesky chainsaw and like what you're gonna get in it and then what to expect out of it. So, uh, it's gonna come with the sucker as always, Nevesky hat, targets, mag, what else we got? Um, little Nevesky M lock slot for the QD for your sling, some sling QDs, lock, I think anybody ever uses that. Uh, your manual with your certificate of authenticity, so super nice. Um, and then, of course, your chainsaw. Let's get this out of the way. So this was sent to me by Tag Firearms, not by Nevesky. So thanks to them, uh, there's a link down in the description if you were interested in one. What is different, what is new about the chainsaw line? So Nevesky wanted to offer something that was in that sub 2K range that was still the quality or level that their other rifles were. So what you're getting out of this is gonna be a Gen 4 rail with a forged upper and lower receiver. So this is their quality high-end offering, however you wanna call it. But the big thing with this was that they wanted to develop an upper that matched the Gen 4 rail. So what you'll see is that the lines from the rail go straight into the upper and they blend together really well. So it looks super nice, just like their Gen 4 and Gen 3s do. Uh, because it is forged, it's not gonna be as precise or exact uh, as their billet stuff is, but it still is really, really close. And the other thing you're gonna notice too is that uh, one of the things people always comment on is the Noveski tolerances between the upper and lower receiver. So they always talk how stiff, how tight it is, and the same is true with their forging. So it's still a pretty tight uh, lockup in between the upper and lower receiver set. Uh, outside of that, you're going to get a very basic offering as far as controls go. So no ambi controls. It's all going to be mil spec, mil spec trigger, mil spec safety. You are going to get an ambi charging handle. Uh, instead of the traditional Geisley marked charging handle, this is going to be the Radian. And I believe it's the Radian LT, which has the little polymer or plastic wings versus the metal ones. So that's part of what helps them bring the cost down. Magpul furniture, you're gonna get your standard uh, carbine buffer tube and spring and buffer weight in there. Uh, but aside from that, your the internals, the guts, the most important parts being the barrel, the gas block, and the BCG are gonna be the exact same as what you're gonna get on the Gen 4 or the Gen 3. And it's the quality and reliability you've come to know from Noveski. So the 16 inch barrel is the stainless barrel. It's the same barrel that is in Taylor's 16 inch that we ran out at the recce division. And I will also put up a group that he put together right before we went to the match. Uh, we were just making sure zeros were on and collecting data. And this is what this barrel is capable of. Now, I haven't shot this one. I just picked it up and came straight into this video. Uh, but it is capable of producing sub MOA out of the box. Now, that is a five shot group at 100 yards with some 77 grain open tip match. So and that's reloads, I believe. So it, it will perform phenomenally well. Um, and then the BCG, same BCGs you're going to find in the other ones. Um, the only thing, only real difference is the forged upper and lower receiver set. So same same quality that you've come to know and love from Noveski. Um, I think the reason that this is such a big deal or the reason that people are very excited about this is because the number one complaint that we get about Noveskis anytime somebody runs one of ours or they ask about them is, is well, you know, the, the price is too expensive. They're, they're too expensive. So this brings it right into the same price as Daniel Defense, um, as Sons of Liberty, as Triarch, as ADM. Um, a lot of, it's that really compact area of the market where that sub 2k range uh i think the bcm is still gonna be a little bit cheaper but i think what you're getting out of it in, in terms of the barrel performance and the reliability it's gonna be really competitive with those and it's gonna be super hard to beat i mean i i have shot most of the guns in that price point and i've yet to see one that outperforms this barrel. So this this so far has been the best factory barrel that I've shot. But I think I think this makes Noveski a a wider offering for the average shooter, for the average person, which is why they call this the chainsaw, aka the people's rifle. Um, and they in their marketing that they sent out in their email, one of the things they said is think of it like a stock Tacoma, that it is kind of a blank canvas for you to do with and build out however you want. So if you will look back there, there is a bunch of stuff on that workbench. So immediately I'm gonna take this apart and start adding some things on it. So we'll talk about that in a future video. But the cool thing is that, is that they're trying to, they're listening to the feedback that the people are giving them and they're trying to accommodate that and accommodate the market and provide things that you want that you're asking for. Uh, now coming out of the box, you're only gonna get this in a 16 inch offering and a 10.5 offering. That is their uh, go-to out of the box right now. I don't know of any plans to expand that line. I think that probably depends on how 
the cell, how popular they are. If you have questions about how it performs, leave it in the comments down below so that as I go and do the review long term, uh, I can answer all those for you. But uh, if you're interested in one, I think at the time of this video dropping, they will be released uh, roughly around the same time, if not later in the day. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure that like and subscribe, cry and shop that bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. And I will see you guys in the next one if I don't die from the sickness. You guys ever record an entire episode and then realize that you weren't recording? Yeah, me neither. <coughs> oh, that's death calling. Yeah, we've, we've all been sick, so. The sucker. It's got a scorpion inside. You gonna eat it? Yeah. You need to say hi. You haven't said hi in a while. Are you a wolf? Why, why, can't, why can't you just talk to him? Why do you uh, get a scream? Why, you have, why is it almost red? Why is it almost red? Well, because we're recording. That's why. It's so like hundred. It sounds like a hundred? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> hey, stop. Stop screaming. You could just talk to him. Hey, tell, him tell him Christmas is coming up. What do you want for Christmas? Christmas is coming up. What do you want? What are you doing? Mm -mm -mm. Okay. All right. Go back up front. Love you. Love you. Candy. You can have the candy.